All right, welcome back. Yes, we said we're talking about CAF elections and also issues concerning Nigeria Football Federation. And no other person can talk about this than a former Nigerian Football Federation uh, president uh, when it was the FA, I mean, Nigerian Football That's Association, it. the former chairman talking about uh, retired group captain John Obakbolo. Good morning, Captain. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Good morning. It's good thanks, to have you here. Thanks for coming. <laughs> okay. And it's not easy, you know, coming down here early yeah, hours of this we, morning. Where are we starting from? Where are we starting from? Okay, yeah. now let's start with the CAF election. Yeah. Uh, uh, the sports minister at the Nigerian Football Federation, they had an emergency meeting. He actually called for it on Tuesday concerning, you know, uh, Amaju's uh, position, you know, going for an executive position in CAF and also declaring his mandate for Amanda Mad, who happens to be, uh, who is seeking to contest alongside Isaiatu. So what do you make of, of that particular emergency meeting? The minister ended up supporting him after so much uh, drama before the day. Uh, I would say it was the right decision and the right direction. Because this whole thing started in 1988. I was a chairman at the time. I, I was in Morocco when uh, Issa Hayatou was elected. As at that time, uh, we had uh, Chief Orokoyo, who was Nigeria representative, both in uh, FIFA and uh, CAF. Uh, CAF. In fact, he was going to drop FIFA and then go to CAF as the president. So we had two uh, options. So when we met in Morocco, it was decided that um, the African delegation wanted Nigerians to re relinquish uh, CAF executive uh, positions. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, FIFA executive positions, and then go in for the CAF presidency. It was agreed on. We had a meeting in my room from about 10 to 4 a.m. It was agreed that I shouldn't put up oil, I mean, oil for FIFA uh, position, executive, position. which was all agreed by everybody. So when we got to the hall, we all I, I carried on according to the decision we took. And then uh, Issa Hayatou was returned on a post for the CAF, I mean for the FIFA, FIFA executive. executive. So when it was time for Nigeria, I mean for the CAF presidency, he stood up again. I said, no, excuse me, you can't do this. This was what we all agreed on. You leave that for Nigeria then, but all you say, you see, Mr. President, because that's what they call everybody. Mm -hmm. Mr. President, you see, um, Orokoyo is old. And uh, he, he see, we want a vibrant youth to carry on the African presidency. I say, is that so? Well, how old was Orokoyo at that time, if I may ask? <laughs> well, he was, though he was so, they had some health challenges, but not to that extent. Mm -hmm. They all saw him. It wasn't well, up to 70? Oh, no, no. It no, wasn't no, up no. to 60? Yeah, but, <laughs> no, 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 he wasn't up to. He wasn't up to going 60, about okay. early 60. So I said, excuse me, that was not his decision. So he, he went on. He contested. We now became, the, it were, the two positions were to be returned or not post because within Africa and this thing, we've discussed it in a, in a, a six hour uh, meeting. Yes. <laughs> I said, what is it? So, when the result came out, it was me. That is, coincidentally, it was Nigeria and Madagascar alone that voted for Issa Hayatou. I mean, sorry, that voted but, for. Okay. Uh, or or so every so other every other every person president. just went. So I now met them later. I said, gentlemen, why were we wasting our time holding meetings? You would have just hours. come out. They say, yes, we told you to present yourself or Patrick Obama. Any of you we would have agreed. But for Ching or for Orokoyo, he was old. I said I had a mandate from home. My mandate was to present uh Orokoyo, not myself, nor the late uh, Patrick Okpamo. Mm -hmm. So that is it. So 
When I now heard that this thing was coming up and uh, SIL2 were running, and I said, no, 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 enough is enough. Not again. <laughs> no, 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 enough is enough because what goes around comes, comes around. around. He is now very old. He said the other one was old at the time. Seven so uh, he, should give, he should give way <laughs> to the younger person from Madagascar. And apart from that, it is our time Nigerians pay back to Madagascar for that lovely support they gave us. Back then. Then, mm. I said, two, I cannot see the effect of Issa Hayatou in African football. Okay. I have no say. But people have been talking about the fact that he was responsible, uh, partially responsible for bringing the first World Cup who did, who hosted by Right Africa now. That is, what, that is why I want to talk. That uh, slot was given to us by Dr. Havalange, the former FIFA president. In, in 1985, when we won the inaugural uh, under 15, it was uh, under 17 championship in China, he just gave it to the late Air Commodore Kazubo. He said, I hope your country will be able to host us in a higher uh, 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 grade okay. now. That will be under 19, which is now under 20. Okay. He said, I hope you will be able to do it. He gave it to us then. Then when I got to Chile in 1987, he now called me. He said, you were supposed to be hosting us in 87. But I am taking this championship to Saudi Arabia. Saudi will be holding us because I am taking, I mean, uh, Pepsi Cola has been in, in the Middle East for a very long time. And I want to use a major event to take Coca-Cola to the Middle East. I am a director in Coca-Cola. That was when they started talking of corruption in, in FIFA. FIFA. Money and it all that. It started then. <laughs> it, it has been there. It started then. So because he used his influence as a director of Coca-Cola, took us out from 1987 and gave it to Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. He spoke to me you know, openly, man to man. But there was nothing I could do. That's his FIFA president. He said, I had to have no, no hand, no nothing whatsoever to do with our hosting Nigeria 99, if that's what you are referring to. He had no hand in it. I can say so, except his cronies within the, the Nigerian Federation who were being given posts here and there and being made uh, mad commissioners. He had no, no.